There's a lot happening in the cruise industry. We'll talk about it right after this. and welcome back to Adventures. So I have some exciting cruise news to talk about, but before that, some of you have been showing concern, wondering where have I been? I haven't posted any videos recently, and that's because of two reasons. The first reason is that the cruise industry is ever changing. Every time I wanted to post something, the information would change. Second of all, if you're booked for a cruise, you should be getting your information from the cruise line directly because it's ever changing day to day, not from a YouTube channel. Now you can get a little bit of information from us on, on YouTube, but your main information should be coming from your cruise line. As of now, almost all the major cruise lines have been cruising. Now maybe they're at 50% or 35, all the way up to 70% capacity but they are pretty much all cruising. Also in the last couple of weeks, the mask mandate has been lifted for all passengers on board. Now, of course, if you wanna wear your mask, that's up to you, but the mask mandates have pretty much been lifted. As of March 11th, they were going to lift the mandate of wearing masks inside the cruise terminals and also airlines, but they have extended that for another 30 days. So cruise terminals and airlines, you still have to wear your mask. But as far as Alaska is concerned, Princess is full steam ahead. So book those cruises, get those families back out on the high seas, and let's go cruising. So what's great about Princess Cruises, you know how you have to have the COVID test two days before you board. Now they have, and I've got to read this, it's the COVID-19 at home rapid antigen test virtually. What that means is you have a proctor that proctors you and watches from your cell phone camera. And within 15 minutes, you have the result of your test. So you're at home, you use your cell phone camera, the proctor watches you do your little test. And within 15 minutes on your phone, the proctor sees that you have taken the, the antigen test and that you are ready to cruise. And that's all you need to board the ship. How cool is that? And one of the other reasons why I haven't been posting to this channel is that I've started a new channel. It's called Beach Cities Thrifting, where there's a little bit of travel talk and a whole lot of thrifting. And I take you along with me. I'm looking in antique stores, thrift shops, searching for travel items, things made in different countries, things that remind us of our past travel and things that might inspire us for future travel. So I'm having a lot of fun. I am finding so many things, things made from different cruise lines. I'm also looking for anything I can flip for a profit. And I sell on my online stores such as Etsy and eBay. And now I'm excited to show you just a few things that I have found during my thrifting times. Now, especially for you all-time cruisers or world travelers, I know that sometimes when you're traveling, maybe you see things on the streets that are, are souvenir items, and maybe you don't want to overload your suitcase coming home. But once you get home, you think back like, oh, I wish I would have picked up a few more souvenirs to remind me of my trip. This is one of my favorite items. This is a hand-painted pottery plate of the Panama Canal. Isn't that lovely? And it says Panama Canal on the bottom. And these are the kinds of things that at the moment while you're there, you don't think about picking up. But when you get home, it's like, oh, I wish I could have had something like this. So this is one of my favorite pieces from the Panama Canal. Another really interesting item that I found was this little Eskimo holding a bear. And this Eskimo is shaped and formed from ashes from Mount St. Helens when it exploded many years ago. Look how cute this is, but, but what an artifact to have. Another fun item that I found was this cheese board, cheese cutting board, and this is Victoria, and it's actually the Empress Hotel. Now, if you've taken the cruise to Alaska, you know that one of the last ports that you go to is Victoria, British Columbia, and one of the most beautiful hotels, I'm trying to get this little light out, one of the most beautiful hotels that they have right there on the harbor is the Empress Hotel. And this was actually, this is ceramic and it's a cutting board. 
use, I wouldn't use it to cut things, but it looks very, very pretty. It has all the information on the back. But this was something else I found. I mean, I love Victoria. Victoria is a beautiful city to go to. And here's something else that I found. This is a beautiful bag, a cloth bag. It's really a pretty color too, one of my favorites. But if you look closely, do you recognize what that is? That is the pyramid in Chitsa Itza. And as we said on the ship, when people couldn't pronounce Chitsa Itza, we called it chicken pizza. So the bag from the pyramids in Mexico over by Tulum, Chitsa Itza. So when I found this bag, it really reminded me of the times when the ship would go into Cozumel and then you take a fast high powered ferry across the waterway and pick up the tour and visit Chitsun Itza. And it is so fun to walk into an antique store or a thrift shop and find and find mugs from cruise ships. This one's from the Holland American, the Rydum. And this is from Princess Cruises. This is the original Regal cruise ship. So I love finding these mugs. Oh, there's my kitty. I love finding these mugs. I also found this beautiful pottery ashtray from the Canary Islands. Now the Canary Islands are located off of the northwest part of Africa. The closest I've been to Africa is going through the Strait of Magellan, which is the south of Spain, where you see Spain on one side and Morocco on the other side, but that's the closest I've been to Africa. But one of my goals is to get to the Canary Islands, and I know Princess Cruises has cruises that can take me there. And then there's always Hawaii. Always so many wonderful things are out there from the islands. And I love those wonderful two-week cruises from LA to the islands. Four days at sea there and four days at sea coming back. Love those long cruises. And another one of my favorite items I found was a wonderful antique totem pole from Alaska. It is even signed. So these are very, very valuable over, right now this one goes for about $125, but it's very, very beautiful and it's very, very old. And the last thing I wanted to share with you are treasures that I found for myself. They are not for sale. So this is an ashtray. It has the symbol. Let's see if you recognize that. And also this coffee mug that has a flag with a V. Now the V stands for Vlasov and the S here stands for Sidmar. Back in the day, there used to be a cruise line called Sidmar Cruises. They had four ships, the Fair Wind, the Fair Sea, the Fair Sky, and the Fair Star over in Australia. And in the 80s, that's when I had my first experience of working on board. Toward the end of the 80s, early 90s, Sitmar Cruises was incorporated into Princess Cruises. So a lot of our people and a lot of the captains, it was an Italian cruise line, they were incorporated and became Princess Cruises. So I have some very happy moments. Ashtrays, actually these ashtrays were on board. In those days, you could actually smoke in some of the, the lounges during the cocktail hours. So the cruise lines have come a long way and coffee mugs from the ship. So these are precious treasures that I found for myself. I feel like you might, so if you feel that you might be interested in following me as I go shopping and finding all these wonderful treasures, I would love to have you be a subscriber on that channel as well, My Beach Cities Thrifting. All the information will be in the description under this video. I would love to have you join me on those travels as well. And everything that you see in today's show, as well as everything I've been buying for the last couple of months, are on sale in my Etsy store and my eBay store. That information also will be under the link. Thank you so much for watching my channel. And as always, ciao for now, especially to my Sitmar family.